Ja, hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Planescape Torment. Ähm, und ich muss gleich mal gestehen, ich bin ein Vollidiot. Ähm, ich habe ja, also ein, ein nicht unerheblicher Teil unserer Schwierigkeiten aus dem letzten Video rührte ja daher, dass äh, man hier nirgendwo rasten konnte. Man kann hier aber rasten. Und zwar, ähm, ich weiß gar nicht, kann man hier rasten? Hier könnte man rasten. Gut, diesen Raum hatten wir noch nicht gefunden. Ähm, entschuldige ich mal. Aber man kann auch in dem Anfangsraum rasten. Und das ist ja auch völlig logisch. Da ist ja, äh, ne? das ist ja sozusagen äh, der Safe Haven. Also es ist, ähm, ja, also wir hätten uns ein bisschen äh, von den Schwierigkeiten ersparen können, wenn ich äh, ein bisschen nachgedacht hätte. Ich habe das in der Zwischenzeit nämlich einfach mal ausprobiert, weil ich mich beim besten Willen nicht daran erinnern konnte, dass äh, dieses Dungeon so schwer war. Okay, ja, also wir sind jetzt hier äh, in... <lacht> das, äh, haben, schon mal, haben schon mal besser ausgesehen. Ähm, wir right. irgendwen gefunden. Nordem. I'm gone. Mhm, na, würde ich sagen. Reden wir doch mal mit dir. Das ist auf jeden Fall eine angenehme Abwechslung mit diesem blöden Evil Wizard Construct. In den Raum müssen wir aber noch zurück, weil da lag ja noch einiges rum. Der hat ja einiges an Items liegen lassen. Ähm, mm. um, ja. Yeah. You see a cube with four arms and two legs. Despite its mechanical appearance, the front of the cube is a strange organic green face with two wide elliptical eyes. The cube doesn't seem to notice you. It is staring intently at the two crossbows cradled in its hands. A multifaceted lens dangles from the upper left corner of the cube. It looks like it's designed to pop down over one of the cube's eyes, like a scope. Uh, greetings. The cube shrips and there's a click 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 as its eyes blink wildly. The cube whirls to face you, its eyes wide, then flings its two free hands up in the air as if in surrender. Yet its two crossbows have turned in its hands and are now trained on you. In a strange, detached way, you can't help but notice that every joint on this creature seems to be a series of ring gears and cogs. Chief, we are looking at trouble here. This modron's gone rogue. Rogue? Yeah, you see, sometimes modrons get a little chaos in them, and when that happens, well, I guess the best explanation is that rogue modrons are kind of like backwards modrons. So this is a backwards modron. Backwards modron equals Nordum. The cube's voice has a metallic, wobbling quality to it, as if every word it speaks is jumping off a spring and landing, well, somewhere else. Its mouth forms a bizarre sideways semicircle, which you take to be a smile. Gratitudes, gratefuls. Oh Gottes Willen, this is this stupid wird schwierig. Um, Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Updated my journal. Not sorries. Null sorries. Gratitudes. Identification of self compromised by doubtings plus no mullings plus analysis. The cube shrips again and one of its eyes blinks with a click. Then after a moment the other eye clicks as if it doesn't want to be left out. <laughs> uh, I still don't understand. The cubes features steady themselves and its mouth form a forms a flat line. Indemnification of this unit was compromised. Subject address C indemnified unit as Nordum. Gratitude standard for providing Nordum indemnification. Indemnification, okay. It, it was nothing, really. Nordum's eyes click, blink once, twice, three times. Each time the black spots in the center of his eyes dilate. By the third blink they are the size of dots. Realization reached Nordum null, no name of addressee. Indemnify yourself. Uh, um, truth, I don't really have a name, Nordum. Nordum's eyes widen, the diameter of his pupils growing back to normal size. He click blinks once, but the metal shutters the fall across his eyes this but the metal shutters that fall across his eyes don't rise. After a moment they begin rattling as if stuck. Uh Nordum, you can open your eyes now. There's another click and Nordum's eyes open. 
Not closing eyes, engaged it in action clarification for subject, unidentified, nameless. Formulating, submitting query. Are you lost? Uh, lost? What do you mean? As Nordum's wobbling query ends with the word lost, a curious crawling sensation worms to the back of your skull. With it comes two certainties, hand in hand. This is not the first time you've heard this, and that what Nordum is about to say to your next question is important. When you say lost, Nordum, what do you mean? Absence of name equals absence of identity, equals absence of purpose, equals absence of place in multiverse, absence... Uh, <laughs> equals null state, equals lost. Nordum existed in state null until subject, unidentified, nameless, attached identity to Nordum. Null identity, null purpose, null place equates, equates to lost. <sighs> mm -hmm. Well, I imagine I had a name once, but I forgot it. Formulating new query. There's a... <coughs> it's Nordum blinks three times rapidly. The sound is like the tapping of a hammer on a sheet of tin. Explain to Nordum why you performed this action. Forgotting. Um, it's a side effect of my condition, I think. The metal shutters seal over Nordum's eyes with a roar. Then he rattles to himself for a few moments with his eyes closed. When they click open, Nordum shrubs. Query, memory defective? <laughs> uh, yes, you kids could say that. Preconditional action to clarify query. Nordum memory space not yet near capacity. Query action. In event of yes, return from subject. Unidentified, nameless. Nordum can we remember for you. Sure, go ahead, Nordum. Anyway, look, I really have to be about my business. There's a sudden rapid series of clicks and twangs from the crossbows in Nordum's hands. His eyes spin and refocus on the crossbows, holding the right one up closer to his side, as if listening to it. Is everything okay? One of Nordum's eyes remains on the crossbow, which is clicking faintly, and his other eye focuses on you. Query, may these ones join you in your journey. <laughs> um, uh, sure, we could always use a hand. Or four. Nordum's mouth forms the bizarre semicircle it did before, and that his two crossbows begin clicking and twanging violently, almost vibrating out of his hands. Uh -huh. Gratitudes, gratefuls, Nordum's Nordum and crossbows have been attached to a larger community. I wouldn't be too grateful just yet. Let's move out. Hello, Nordum. Um, das ist Nordum. Nordum ist ein Fighter mit einem lustigen Gesicht. Um, 16, 16, 8, 16, 16, 8. Das ist das sehr, sehr... Okay, das lesen wir uns später mal durch. Wir werden nämlich erstmal noch mit ihm reden. Ähm. Woke Modron. Na da. <lacht> okay. Bo. Ja, du hast ja ein... Ähm Nordums Crossbow Bolts. Du hast ja, das sind zwei Crossbows. Aha. Permission to part with these crossbows is denied. Permission to part with that item is denied. Aha, das geht. Mhm. Pimp. Okay. Gut, das ist Nordum. Herzlich willkommen. Wir sind voll vollzählig. Hm, dann gehen wir mal raus. So, dann speichern wir mal. So, jetzt haben wir nämlich einiges an ähm, äh, Arbeit mit dem guten Kollegen. Der ist ja, wie wir gemerkt haben, nicht so hundertprozentig up to speed. Also es sch scheint ja einiges noch nicht so richtig mit ihm zu funktionieren. Und wir werden uns jetzt mal der, dem spaßigen Prozess des, ähm, der Optimierung widmen. Und jeder, der das schon mal bei seinem Windows PC versucht hat, weiß, wie spannend das ist und vor allem wie äh, kompliziert. Also, äh, da fangen wir mal an. 
Ich hoffe, ich mache das jetzt in der richtigen Reihenfolge. <coughs> Nordum is staring at his crossbows intently. You are making a variety of... They are making a variety of clicking noises. First one, then the other, as if conversing. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm curious, Nordum, how did you end up in Rubicon? Nordum shrubs. Query requires submitting submitting of chronology. Shall Nordum submit chronology? Yes, I would like to know. Orders received at initiation of Rubicon project. Departure from plane Mechanus. Stage first. Arrival at destination. Plane Limbo. Stage second. Parameters dictated by superior creative director. Shaped matter of plane Limbo to test hypothesis. Rubicon dungeon constructed. Uh, hold on, Nordum. What's the plan of Mechanus? Nordum freezes. Then slowly the gears in his elbows begin turning in a slow hypnotic synchronization. Define query, mechanics, plan of order, sense, cause generates effect, predictable, law, logic, regimented, obedience, gears turn, mechanics equals nordum, origin, mechanics equals null, home, nordum. Mechanics? Boring in every sense of the word, Chief. Imagine a plane filled with modrons and big turning gears, and you have the great big boring plane of mechanics. Too many laws, too annoying, a place you wouldn't even want to think about, let alone visit. Mods, critique aside, Mechanos is actually a fascinating place. There is no sky there, only great gears that turn in space. They shine light according to their cycles and the effect is really quite breathtaking. The logic and order the pla of the place can be relaxing and there's more than enough to do to quell one's boredom if you know what, where to go and how to go. Ah, uh, thank you, Grace. Excuse me, Miss Priestess of Piety, but Mechanus is the most boring place in the universe. The only interesting thing about it would be if you visited. Mort rolls his eyes. But if, but I have a feeling even that would lose its charm after a while. Yeah. Nordum, what did you mean before by null home? Mechanus equals origin point. Exclamation <laughs> mark. Source. Energy. Cannot return to Mechanus, null home. Broke law with existence. Central office for the punishment of offenders awaits in regulus. Mechanus, origin, null home. Home, null place. Oh, good to see this. Uh, what do you mean by source? Source equals energy. All Maldrons are part of this pool, chief. Th kind of like a big bank of energy. When one of them dies, the energy it took to make the Maldron is absorbed back into the bank and the new one spit out. Thing is, when a Maldron goes a little nutty, he kind of cuts that connection, but he keeps a bit of the energy. I see... Affirmatory. Uh, so, Nordum, this mechanism is a source of energy. Affirmatory. Nordum. Entschuldigung. <coughs> uh -huh. Nordum shutters slide down across his eyes and he roars to himself for a moment, then, he left, then his left eye opens. Piece percentage fractured fraction of source inside Nordum. Energy divided. Link severed. Nordum stutters over the last word, then steadies himself. Uh, so, you've been cut off from the source then. Isn't that. Painful? Negatory. No pain. Nordum's mouth suddenly bends, forms a semicircle, then turns upside down. Affirmatory. Pain. Clicks. Response deviation. Response is both true and false. O answer is unacceptable. Well, if part of the answer is true, then isn't the answer true? Nordum pauses for a moment. Response deviation. Accounted for by definition of pain. No physical breach has been created from separation from source. Nonetheless, operation efficiency parameter parameters have changed, so unknown damage may have occurred. Formulating new response. Painful equals unknown. I see. Um. um. Hmm. <laughs> 
How are you doing, Nordum? Introspective cycle commencing. Nordum clicks his eyes and close uh, clicks his eyes closed and begins to <coughs> wait for Nordum to complete his analysis. Okay. Aber dann auch so ein Progress Bar in seinem Gesicht anzeigt. Äh, uh, a few moments later. <laughs> das glaubt doch kein Mensch. Few moments later. Um, okay. A few moments later. His eyes click open. Introspective evaluation perceptions have become one smaller and be louder. Wings have been replaced with arms. Reason unknown. Suspicion hypothesis. Not like wings. Speculation. Nordum was once one, but is now smaller, louder one. Change has resulted in information processing difficulties. Um, do you think your separation from the source is what caused your perspective shift from that quieter, broader one to the smaller, louder one? Nordum stares at you for a moment in silence, then a slow roar comes from inside his frame and he cur clicks. You're not certain, but it sounds like something clicked into place. Uh huh, that's good. Nordum. Updated my journal. Hello. Status updated. Introspection drain halted. Rerouting speculation routines to main queue. To your surprise, some of the wob wobbling has gone out of Norden's voice. It is more level, more, con more controlled than it was before. The effect is a little unnerving. <laughs> okay, now I have some other questions for you. Um, Normal end up in Rubicon, yes, I would like to know. Go on. Superior, director of Create Lost in Field Test. Chronology disrupted upon achievement of stage second. Third stage, disruption occurs. Not part of project directives. What was this field test? Superior, director of Create Field Test. Scouting parameters of Rubicon, difficult. Dungeon construct. Of Rubicon, difficult. Dungeon construct to determine. Variances, many deviations detected. Errors considerable. Oh, God. Nordum gives a low, a low whine and shuts his eyes with a click. Director of Create not return from field test. Uh, I heard the Rubicon wizard disintegrated the creative director. Suspicion, unsubstantiated. Equals now confirmed. Superior encountered an error. Nordum's eyes click as if to clear them. Query. The error was large and unexpected. I <laughs> say. I don't think he had much difficulty in wiping out the director. Processing new information. Nordum stares at you for a moment in silence. Then there is a loud grinding of gears from inside his frame. After a moment he shrubs. Fate of crea creative director confirmed. Director nulled. Well, actually, Nordum, I'm the new creative director of Rubicon. Nordum stares at you for a moment in silence, then a slow roar comes from inside his frame and he clicks. You're not certain, but it sounds like something clicked in place. Uh -huh. You are right, Nordum? Updated my journal. Offensichtlich. Status updated. Creative director now reaffirmed in hierarchy. To your surprise, some of the warbling has gone on Nordum's voice. It's a small level, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Nordum, out of curiosity, what sort of duties is the cre creative director responsible for, and how much do you have to obey him? A slow begins building in Nordum, like a clock about to explode. Nicht gut. Response, responsibilities of director. A, integrity maintenance of Rubicon project. Two, order is issuance to Rubicon battalion work group. Period. Oh, <coughs> oh man. Entschuldigung, ja, weiter geht's. Period of obedience in accordance with Nordum obedience. Until Rubicon Project halted, Creative Director equals Nordum Superior. Um, what sorts of tasks did the Creative Director ask you to do? Nordum shutters roar down o over his eyes as if, if he is thinking. Task routine, evalua evaluation forward scout tidier. Assign parameter of Rubicon project to evaluate, catalog, tidy, then report. Report includes in, in, in integrity evaluations, extermination of project errors, wayward item recovery of untidiness. Wayward item recovery. 
Affirmatory. Items appear in maze that were not present in the original design of Rubicon project. They must be gathered, catalogued, evaluated and stored to prevent interference. Modrons are sent out to retrieve them and secure them. Das ist übrigens, das ist ganz wichtig. Das ist nämlich die Erklärung, warum in vielen Rollenspielen in Dungeons die Items nach einer Zeit verschwinden. Wenn man sie nicht mitnimmt. Oder manchmal auch sofort. Das liegt nicht etwa daran, dass das irgendwie schlecht programmierte game mechanics sind. Nein, nein. Das sind tatsächlich kleine Modrons, die da hinlaufen ins Dungeon und die Items einsammeln, damit das sauber bleibt. Ich meine, sonst wäre ja auch jedes Dungeon in jedem größeren Rollenspiel ähm, zugemüllt mit ähm, überzähligen Items. Ne? Also, ne? Eigentlich ganz logisch. <lacht> Uh, hmm. Did you find anything during your last trip? Affirmatory. Uh, can you give me what you found? Oh good, this thing. Affirmatory. There's a moment of silence, then the shutters slowly descend over Nordum's eyes. There's a tick 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 from inside this frame, followed by a whirr click. A hatch opens up <laughs> in Nordum's left side, and he reaches over with his free hand and passes off several objects to you, including a stream of copper coins. Hmm. You said you evaluated items when you found them. How? <coughs> There is a sudden ping from Nordum and a clack clack as his lens housing begins to rotate. A small panel opens up on Nordum's side and a new lens pops out almost by accident. Nordum glances up at it. Response? Alternate lens. Magnifying. Secured in housing. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, I've heard in I've heard enough, Nordum. Let's move Experience on. Experience has increased my skills. Das ist sehr gut. Grace, dann steig doch gleich mal auf. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Äh, so. Nee. Wo war denn Max Playbook? Priest Roll. Nix verändert, nix verändert. Lightning. Danke, Grace. So, was wir jetzt machen müssen, ist... Ähm, als nächstes können wir Nordem programmieren, sozusagen. Ihm, ihm Befehle geben. Und ähm, inwieweit er darauf reagiert, oder, ähm, oder, oder was das äh, bewirkt, hängt davon ab, welche Klasse wir sind. Witzigerweise und welche ähm, ähm, Attributswerte wir haben. Deswegen machen wir jetzt zwei Sachen. Wir machen erstmal uns zum Fighter. Äh, What is your will? Ähm, weil wir Nordem ja grundsätzlich als fernkämpfenden Kämpfer äh, benutzen wollen. Und da ist es durchaus hilfreich, wenn wir selber Fighter sind, wenn wir ihn programmieren, weil dann wissen wir, was wir tun, sozusagen. Das ist meine Logik dahinter. Ähm, There are things I would know. Drakon? Da habe ich gerade Drakon gesagt. Drakon, mein Gott. Um, teachings. Current professional resume the study of weaponcraft. Well. Okay, jetzt haben wir ungefähr eine Million. Uh, alright, let's move on. Jetzt gehen wir hier mal alle. I'm gone. Jetzt gehen wir hier mal alle weg. Hier müssen nämlich zwei Millionen Items liegen, genau. So, dann schauen wir mal. Also, von Nordem haben wir Junk gekriegt. Junk. <lacht> Mehr Schank. Magus Shield. Äh, und unsere Earrings, die können wir im Moment nicht benutzen. Und Gold Bracelet, okay. Silver Ring. sind wir Fighter, dann brauchen wir noch was. Äh, Select Spell, Power of One. Wir brauchen mehr, mehr Stärke. Äh, Stärke 11, das hat es nicht wirklich gebracht. Ähm, The 
Pokemon's name. Aha. Ah, ver verstehe. Wird funktioniert also nicht. Ähm. Kumulativ. Okay, ne, hilft nichts, dann müssen wir erstmal rasten. Äh, das machen wir am besten hier. Ähm. Ja, wollen wir. Recht aber noch nicht. Wenn ich irgendwas was die Stärke erhöht, verdammt nochmal. Ich werde das jetzt mal pausieren und äh, so Play. hier machen. Limbo. Oh. Location Rubicon Testing Grounds. Das ist richtig. Danke, Nordem. Ähm, ich werde das jetzt mal so lange pausieren, bis wir, ähm, bis der Zauber funkt äh, vernünftig funktioniert. Äh, bis gleich. Ja, und da sind wir wieder. Ging ganz schnell. Ähm, wir haben jetzt Stärke 17. Das heißt, wir sind jetzt auch ein anständiger Fighter. Und dann würde ich sagen. Äh, Aus irgendeinem Grund geht er jetzt nur noch. Okay. So, jetzt lauft er wieder. Keine Ahnung, warum das... Können wir... Alright. So. Stärke haben wir jetzt. Dann sprechen wir jetzt nochmal mit Nordem. So, as creative director, I have some orders for you. I order you to focus more of your energy from your introspection routines and gear them more towards combat. I expect an immediate increase in your fighting skills and accuracy, soldier. Affirmatory. There is a moment of silence, then the shutter slowly did. Das kennen wir alles schon. Um, 36.000 Experience die wir jetzt natürlich als Fighter kriegen, aber nicht zu erinnern. Intelligence hat er verloren. Armor Class ist um zwei besser geworden. Constitution, Consti Constitution ist besser geworden. His, fi his fingers begin tapping against his crossbows and you watch as the rivets in his fingers slide out, slide back and the empty holes suddenly fill with a swarm of extremely tiny, intricate gears. The gears clink and tick as they fight for space, then settle into a steady, methodical tick, tick, tick. Mm -hmm. Ah, Dexterity kriegt er auch noch dazu. Sehr schön. Uh, that's all I wanted, Nordem. Thanks. Okay, jetzt haben wir um, einen Job als Fighter erledigt. Jetzt müssen wir wieder mit uh, Darkon sprechen. What is your will? Um, Things. Uh, study of the art. Yo. Okay. Alright, let's move on. Können wir uns auch wieder unsere Sachen. So. So. Okay. Gut, jetzt äh, speichern wir nochmal. Jetzt brauchen wir... Okay, 
Okay, jetzt sprechen wir nochmal mit Mordem. Some orders for you. Ach, das können wir jetzt nochmal machen. Das ist ja cool. Äh, wir können ihm jetzt sozusagen nochmal Orders als Magier geben. Ähm. Nordum, I want you to focus on clearing out any excess baggage from your memory and use it to improve your logic and introspection routine. Introspection routines. Affirmatory. There's a moment of silence. Uh, the grinding noise turns into a metal screeching as panels open up in northern sides and excess baggage starts flying out. And you try and catch each piece at this as it flies out. Intelligence plus zwei. Gut, das ist nicht so wichtig, aber wir haben Items bekommen. Mm, that's all I wanted. Thank you, Nordum. Das können wir jetzt auch noch als Deep machen. Allerdings ist das nicht so vorteilhaft, weil wir dann Stärke verlieren bei Nordum. Um, das ist Junk, den brauchen wir nicht. Das ist mehr Junk, den brauchen wir nicht. Das ist noch mehr Junk, den brauchen wir nicht. Was wir aber brauchen, ist das hier. Clockwork Junk. Das identifizieren wir. Identifizieren wir mal. Twisted Gear of Enol Eva. Hm, macht vom Prinzip ähm, da. Enols, Enol Eva is a duplication. Ähm, Uh, allows all subsequent actions to be doubled or dupli uh, duplicated. During confrontations, all physical or magical attacks are doubled, dealing twice the amount of damage. Um, das ist ein sehr praktischer Zauber. Äh, wo ist er denn da? Und den lernen wir auch gleich mal. It's in my spellbook. So. Okay. Um, so. Das haben wir richtig gemacht. Ähm, jetzt brauchen wir Zauber. Ähm, Friends. Jetzt haben wir unser Charisma maximiert. Äh, das ist nötig ähm, für das nächste Gespräch mit Nordem. Das ist ein bisschen... Tricky alles, aber wenn man es mal hat, dann macht man es auch immer wieder. Äh, Nordum is staring at his cosmos. Ja, ja. Ähm. Some orders for you. Nordum, I order you to listen to me. I have some things I want to say to you. Awaiting talk. <laughs> I order you to be more than you can be, Nordum. I order you to, bec to become stronger, faster and more focused than you've ever been. I know you can do this, because I believe you can do this. Nordum stares at you in silence. His crossbows have also fallen still. Und das ist wirklich außergewöhnlich. Now repeat the following words. I'm a strong Modron. I'm a fast Modron. I'm a powerful Modron. My cre creative director believes in me. I am focused for my director. Come on, repeat it. Nordum speaks, but his voice no longer carries the metallic wobble you heard before. It is flat, focused, emotionless. I am a strong Modron. I am a fast Modron. I am a powerful Modron. My creative director believes in me. I am focused for my director. Now feel those words, Nordum. Become stronger. Become faster. Become more powerful. Let that energy within you surface and use it to make you Nordum. Nordum continues to stare at you, but you can feel your words taking hold. You can feel just a spark, just a spark of the energy inside of him. If you can coax it out, bring it to the surface. Come on, Nordum, strength, speed, power, focus. Armor-Class runter, strength, strength drauf, Constitution drauf. Sehr schön. Und für äh, 60.000 Erfahrungspunkte. Affirmatory. The pupils of Nordum's eyes suddenly click and become brilliant white dots. Like tiny suns, his hands cranks raise above his head and in a curious flying motion and then settle back to his sides. When they descend, Nordum seems more definite, sharper to your senses somehow. Something's changed, Nordum. Order processed. Nordum blinks and suddenly settles into himself, into himself with a clank. A small wisp of steam rises from one of his vents. <laughs> His voice seems uh, uncharacteristically deep, like he's speaking from within a huge stove. Then resumes his normal tone. Order processed. 
Oh, that worked pretty well. <laughs> um, okay. Ich würde sagen, das reicht fürs Erste. That's all I wanted now. Your knowing the teachings of Zerthamon I have become stronger. Ja, und da kümmern wir uns dann das nächste Mal drum, ähm, genauso wie mit dem... Play Limbo. Ja, ja. Location De Rubicon Testing Grounds. Danke, Norden. Ähm, da kümmern wir uns dann beim nächsten Mal drum, genauso wie über die ähm, blöden Heavy Threat... Nee. Oder das? Heavy Threat Constructs? Äh. Egal. Ähm, die noch in dem... Wizards Room auf uns warten. Okay, ja, dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal an gleicher Stelle wieder mit einem verbesserten Mo äh, ähm, Modron Nordem. Okay, also bis dann. Tschüss.